<laughs> it's got a big it's fight coming up. Right, November whatever, 20th. Whatever. You Las Vegas. The Puerto Rican podcast. So whatever. Hey, the listen. Like bay. Hold up. Because oh, oh, energy oh, now, because oh, okay, it's been okay. signed. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Let's go. <laughs> and I, oh, I'm man. saying oh, like, messed up. sorry cameras, yeah, messed up. <laughs> cameras. I'm sorry. Was there was a place. point in time, yeah, <laughs> big ass hands. There was a point in time where I'm like, you know, everybody's like, Yo, why is he being quiet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I needed that to happen. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't want anything yeah. to, to interrupt. You know what I mean? And 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 still, you know what I mean? I don't think at this point there's gonna be much that can interrupt this fight. So let's talk about it. Are you yeah. gonna? You know, I remember with Spence when that fight got announced, you brought that energy. From the very first press conference, it was yeah. like the the opening bell, opening round before the bell, yeah. and you you sent a message to Errol and everybody there that day that this fight isn't going to go the way you. Th I'm not complying. I'm not just showing up to follow the script. Yeah. And it was you Hell think no. you think you uh, send do give do us that. some energy on the presser. Oh, 100. percent okay. I can't do that, man. I can't follow the script. You know what I mean? Unless the script is is if I'm hearing you winning what I'm expect. <laughs> yeah, if I'm hearing what I what I need to hear, what I'm expecting to yeah. hear. I'm expecting people to say, hey, this is going to be a dogfight. I'm expecting people to say this could go either way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Me as me as the fighter, I want to win, but I want to hear people say this could go either way because this is going to be, this will be fight of the year. That's what, that, that, This it. fight, Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, that, I think yeah. that that's the only other one right there, but this is going to be fight of the year. You're like, you're like Marlo from The Wire. He says, you want it to be one way? The other way, exactly. Every want time, the fans to think every know, time Bud's got this, but every time people are excited. I, I know. I'm so glad people are excited. Yeah, and I, and I think they'll just continue to. It's it's just a fun. It's a fun matchup. Just literally stylistically, mm -hmm. it's a fun matchup. But mm -hmm. also, you finally get Bud against somebody who, whether it's you, Keith Thurman, EJ, any of the arrows is kind of a special case in this circumstance. <laughs> yeah. he's the one that they wanted, yeah. but. You get butt in there with a the top guy, and then you get another shot. I don't three time world champion for you. Good yeah, man. how about that? Uh, I hadn't even thought about it. I didn't either. Yeah, and somebody said it, and I was like, oh damn. Yeah, that's, somebody that's said it. I was cool. like, I was like, dang, yeah. Because yeah. I've been saying two time for forever. Yeah, you know what I mean. And I don't know. Uh, it just sounds right too. It's kind of like when I fought Keith. Like it, I didn't even know that the WBA was like on the line in that fight. The only thing Neither I knew the WBA. Was, Huh? Neither did the WBA. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> really, what the the bigger picture to me was beating Keith Thurman. Yeah, and that's the bigger picture to me is beating Terrence Crawford. Do it a little different this time. Oh, for sure. Gotcha. Hey, right. sure. Sean might be the guy at the welterweight at for this era. He was this he fight. Fought he fought everybody. Is. Yeah, he fought everybody while y'all ducking and dodging. He wanted to fight. He's been going around. I fight him. I fight him. He never talked. He always talked about he'll go across the street. I think it was Max Kellerman said that. He yeah. was like, if there was one PBC fighter you knew would, would cross oh, the yeah. street, <laughs> Sean Porter. But yeah. just like, in this era, Sean steps up and he will fight everybody. Yeah. Everybody. So I give him credit for that, but I'm hyped. November well, yeah, 20. I mean, uh, Go ahead, do your I'm thing. I'm going to say this too when, when I get a chance to talk with Sean after is- You can talk to him Props, right now. props to, <laughs> I know, right? Props to- Fighthype.com. <laughs> right, right. No, no, no. Prop, props uh, to Sean because this fight doesn't happen without all parties involved, Bob, Al, Absolutely. Terrence. But- do you think it's fair to say this fight's happening more than anybody else because of you? This fight's happening more because of you than any of those other guys I just WBO named. WBO, maybe? People don't know this, Get but shout out. there was a level of patience that I that I uh, kind of, I'm, I'm actually, I'm born with this level of patience that's kind of unreal. My dad's been wanting me to get in the ring. He wanted me to get in the ring in March. He wanted me to get in the ring in July. He wanted me to get in the ring in yes, August. Sure. And I kept really dragging my feet and I never voiced why I was dragging my feet. We did have a few conversations and one, one of those conversations was you got to let it go. <laughs> you got to move forward and something just- Your dad told me one day, you need to talk to your boy, man. He got to get in the ring. Yeah. I didn't know how to approach you with that. Yeah. Because I was like, maybe he knows something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I never said nothing to you about yeah, it. Yeah, never. No, you <laughs> actually, I didn't know that y'all had that conversation. Yeah. So shout out to Ann. Made the fight happen. <laughs> yeah, nah, but- I ain't say nothing. With boxing, that's one thing that I've learned is, is just, uh, there's a level of patience that you just have to always have inside and outside of the ring. And my dad was, my dad was literally putting fire underneath me to get back in the ring and yeah. something I was just like man I don't I don't want to prepare for anybody but 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 Terrence, Terrence Crawford I don't want to if it's if it's not Terrence Crawford or somebody that I feel is 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 at that level then yeah. I don't want to fight at all you know and so you know I know that boxing fans are you know you get a little 
uh, frustrated when you don't see your favorite fighter in the ring or, you know, you want us to be more active and things like that. Like, when y'all got to understand that when we say, oh, yeah, we're waiting on the business to work itself out. Like, those those are real statements. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's nobody's hiding behind the business. Like, the business is a real statement, you know, so. You can mess a fight up talking about it too much in the public. That too. Yeah. Right. That too. People don't really understand how that goes. But right. It just you you it's kind of like you dis disrespect the wrong people or you say the wrong thing to the wrong person and uh, next thing you know something's off of the yeah, table. That's that negotiations and anything. Like, yeah. If you talk too much, then it's like wait a second. Yeah. You're saying this publicly. Yeah. yeah. You talk about this privately. Like, <laughs> and you no, like. Mm. Now nah, I ain't going. We ain't gonna get all into okay. that. Yeah. I'm about to go off on somebody real quick. Who go? I know. Uh, nah, who? Bobby. Ah, Bobby. No, I don't go off. All right, all right. No, I don't go off. Sean, you, you feel Vegas? like this million dollars? Yeah, yeah. We, no, uh, we, no, 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 no we, we can we can do that to, uh, to anyone that was like at that time that we talked about it multiple uh, times. Uh, we don't need to talk about it extensively, uh, but people were saying, "Man, Sean Porter, you should just be lucky to take the million dollars and get an ass whooping from Terrence." That Crawford. was crazy. Yeah, or, <laughs> man, he, that was crazy. Well, if you want to chase greatness, why don't you just take the you know money and, and then you beat him and then all? And, so, then you can make more money. Yeah, slap yourself. Guess what? I've uh, been there before. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And it, and it, and the money grew. Yeah. Oh, money but, trees. Perfect place for shade. But again, like oh, the patience that I don't know what he's talking about. The patience, <laughs> the Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> the, the patience you gotta have. In this sport, I think is 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 uh, sometimes it's unreal, and yeah. you know I said that uh, you know patience is just one of those things that uh, we we can't measure. You know what I mean? We, it's a virtue, some say. Yeah, yeah. We we never know how much. We never know how little. We, when it happens, it yeah. happens. You know. You got to win this fight to be great, though, Sean. Because to keep it real, got to. I think people will say if you can't win this fight, they'll say he was really good for sure. Yeah. But he, yeah. And, and so you feel like got to you got to win this fight to be great. And do, and what do you got to do to get that little bit? Over the hump now. Yeah, you tell us this your game close. plan specifically. The right? one no, that, no, I know, I know. The <laughs> one that the, the the fighter that comes to mind is uh, Danny. I Garcia. can't help it. Is no, Danny Garcia at 140? He he was very electric and very yeah. and very great. But then moving up to 147, he's you know he still want, was able to win, but he wasn't able to win the big ones. And I and and I feel like he's put himself in a category of one of those fighters who is good slash great, but can't conquer the big challenges and you know i pride myself on taking on big challenges and so this uh this is one of those things where you know when i fought danny i said I, i'm not leaving new york without this wbc title and it was like it was like here like i had to have that title and the same thing goes for winning this fight like for me the thing with errol was great but to me, I got It's got. It's got to go another level higher. Yeah. You know wasn't what I mean? wasn't good enough. It wasn't good. I wasn't enough. happy with that. It wasn't good enough. It wasn't What's good the, enough. Would you consider? It, and that has been that. That's. It's not a narrative. It's factual. You've had step up fights. You've come up short in some of them. And then, what do you think is your biggest win? Is it Danny? Maybe a forty seven. Is it Devin? Oh, winning, wow. winning the bell for the first time. Yeah. Wow. That's a crazy Cause, question. Cause people are like, really? What's what his, is his what biggest, is win? biggest win? I think it's Danny. You, Danny. Is yeah. it, I would, I would probably Garcia. agree. It, it's, it, people can say what they want about the belts, but yeah. it was from the green belt. Yeah. Sold out Barclays against a guy who's proven, you know, I, I don't know. You tell me if I'm wrong, but I always think there's something more special about fighting for the WBC. And, and that's the belt you really want to win. I would, so I got two things. Number one, the fight with Danny was, it was special because that fight, that belt was vacated. Both of us had had losses. Both of us clearly lost to to uh, Keith. Keith Thurman. Uh, both both our fights. His his fight on paper was closer than I thought it was to my eye. I didn't think it was as close. My fight, of course, was was very close uh, with Keith. And so it was one of those situations where this is kind of a winner or go home type of situation. And so I think in, in that respect, I think that that fight was um, the biggest win in my career. Yeah. Um, I've had like bigger and better performances. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that one is is like a significant win. With that's a great question because I never actually never even thought about like hey, I, what would be my biggest. I would win? argue you had better performances against maybe even Keith yeah. or Errol yeah. than against Danny. Yeah. But obviously, Danny you got the win. Maybe yeah. would Devin maybe be number two? Um, first world title. He had what one mm -hmm. loss at that point to Timothy Bradley. Yeah, um, yeah. He had only had one loss. Yeah, I know a lot of people. I mean. Paulie was faded, but a lot of people felt like that was the best Sean Porter they ever yeah. saw. Well, that, no, that is the best Sean yeah. Porter I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was a oof. What's up? I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Ant. Follow me on IG. Ant with two T's. Let's do All it. Right, Let's here, do right. it again. Let's All do right. it again. Just introduce yourself. Okay. And then tell them, and then you tell them what to do. I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Anthony Brenno. 
Carson A. Merck. Like, subscribe, comment. This is the Portaway. <laughs> <laughs>